And then we had the Sturgeons. Uh, There's a lot of talk about the Sturgeons in the latter half of the week. A lot of talk about how bad shit looks for them. Um, You know, like she resigned a few weeks ago. She said it wasn't anything to do with the gender recognition reform bill. Uh, That whole debacle. And everyone was like, "Uh (laughs) uh-huh. Like your worst policy rollout in fucking years. Just haphazard and clumsy. Like it played right into the transphobic trap, didn't it? That whole like, you know, what if a man pretends to be a woman so that he then gets put into a women's jail and then he sexually assaults or rapes these women in the jail like what if that happens like obviously that is unlikely to happen obviously that is hugely edge case you know but by ignoring it or pretending that any criticism of it is just you know bigoted what you do is you sort of roll out the red carpet for this shit to then happen and for it to blow up. Anyway, just after that, Nicola Sturgeon was like, well, I always said that when I felt the time was right, I would step back and I, I would give someone else a chance to to step up. I, I always said that. And we're like, but two weeks ago, when we were talking about Jacinda Ardern and, you know, she sort of had enough or she didn't have much more to give, you said... You had plenty more left in the tank. Like, you said that. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, but, um... But, but now, I feel that the, the, the time is right. 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 So, so now, you suddenly feel that the time is right. Aye. <laughs> but still, nothing to do with the gender bill, no? Uh, nope. Nope. And a lot of us were like, you know, come on. That's the only variable between two weeks ago, you saying you had plenty more left in the tank. Now, two weeks later, you're saying you feel like the time is right. That's the only thing that's changed in that time. Like, you, uh, do you seriously think people are that stupid that they're not going to think that it's the political humiliation of the gender bill that's pushed you to step? Like, what else is there? Like, I was coming through Twitter and TikTok and stuff, and there was people that used to like her that were then saying, like, look, if she can't even bring herself to admit that she's brought herself down like this, like with her mistake, like, you know, I like her, but maybe it's better if she does go. You know, if she can't admit fault like this, maybe it's best if she does quit. Anyway, now it turns out after all that, that uh, yeah, she was right. It wasn't about the gender bill. It was about £600,000 of campaign finance fuckery. <laughs> like, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm sorry I shortchanged you with those mediocre accusations of, oh, she can't admit fault. The whole time I never realised I was dealing with a fucking kingpin big baller here. Like, like, like Donald Trump is on the hook for £100,000 of campaign finance money, right? A hundred grand. The Sturgeons are being investigated for their involvement in a missing 600 grand. Unaccounted for. Six times the figure of Donald Trump. Man, does that yield some questions. Like, if a hundred grand to get a porn star to shut the fuck up. If that gets you indicted and 24 hour news coverage, what does 600 grand get you? Hush money, six times the Trump money. What kind of fucked up, opulent, salacious shit are they into? Who have they paid off, you know? Who did the Sturgeons fuck that was so bad so politically inconvenient that 600k went walkies to hush them up because that is obviously what has definitely happened here that is absolutely not what has definitely happened i've got got to be careful my solicitors uh, might be listening to this i've got to you know hey dave um anyway i hope it is though i hope that is what's happened 600 grand six times the trump figure i hope that it's reflective that you know 100 grand for him 600 i hope that that is reflective of how salacious the scandal beneath the scandal is you know (laughs) like with trump the scandal is that he allegedly see dave i'm 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 playing nice he allegedly used campaign money for something other than the campaign right and then the scandal beneath that (laughs) 
beneath the scandal is that it was a prostitute porn star or, or whatever. But with this, the scandal is that 600 grand has gone missing and that they're digging up this bitch's lawn like she's fucking Rose West of Holyrood or something, you know? But what is the actual scandal beneath the scandal, guys? You know, let's let's peel this onion. <laughs> what is it? What has she done? What has that money been spent on that's so bad that it can't be accounted for? Like, you'd rather have the whole country staring at your lawn, being dug up. You know, potentially people thinking that you're a murderer, like you've buried a fucking body out there. Your legacy in ruins. You'd rather all of that than us know about the real thing. Where that 600 grand went. Like, what could that be for 600 grand? What did you do? Did you open a wet market? Like, did you? Are you funding gain-of-function research, Nicky? Tell us what you did!